Blaze Blue EU Open Rego in 24 was stacked. So expect some exciting matches against Europe's and possibly the world's best Jin G's, fan favorite Ragnar Josh, and many more. Let's dive on right into the action. Right and on. first, I'm up against Shame. I'm Irish. I'm sorry, I don't have a good Irish dialect, but yeah, hopefully you still liked it and leave a comment and rate it there. So I've never heard about this guy before, so I was being a little bit cautious here in picking my Kagura and I will be all Kagura today in this episode. So as a tip, if you don't want to see specific characters, um, I usually show the Shibi version of the characters I use in the thumbnail so you know which characters I play up front if you are only in interested in seeing specific characters because you play them or you don't play them. Of course for my opponent it's a little bit different because yeah then it's usually the most exciting match will be part of the thumbnail. And yeah, I take a fairly easy first round there. And for everyone not too familiar with this game, so Naoto is your typical Shoto style character in some sense but he has very good offensive tools amazing damage and as you saw there are tools to evade attacks like this way and this of course makes him fairly good against Kagura but of course you have to avoid the, the hits that Kagura can deal and that's definitely not that easy and here he should have punished but no punish in the last C5 not closes it out but 2B does and I'm up one round Simple as that and fast as that, so that didn't take long. That's the thing about Kagura, that he can delete everyone and everything. Very few, as long as you uh, don't play well enough around his uh, around his buttons and stuff, because he is slow on the slower end, so also a little bit better punishable. And that was a nice mesh on the 2B there. Love to see it. Another very nice c fuff bait, but unfortunately he just threw the combo away because I didn't have any uh, um, bursts there. He could have just continued for big damage, but instead he swayed. And this is a simple death. If you get hit by 5c. And that's also the reason why Kagura players love it if you burst early and maybe in less... Uh, committal stances because yeah if you can get that, that 5k for free then we take that 5k for free and yeah here I accidentally jump instead of 6b so no full combo damage but still fairly good going for the op okay unfortunately I was too spaced for the drake to hit there and I expected a grab here so yeah I just grabbed myself I don't know what I countered and what he pressed but it doesn't matter in the end. Very nice the NDP, but yeah, Sway gets hit by uh, non-committal options from my side, and that takes the game against Shame I'm Irish. And we are up against the killer game that I promised you in the intro against G's Europe's best gin player, maybe even the world's best gin player, but that is very difficult to measure because uh, not the entire world travels that much. And he didn't travel that much to other places as well. So, um, yeah, it's hard to compare him to the likes of Fenwich. But he's definitely up there somewhere. And this round is looking very good for me. What the thing that I find very interesting and somewhat weird is that uh, Gs decides to play somewhat more of a... Um, Zona style gameplay against me, Kagura, and while Jin has faster projectiles than Kagura, Kagura's projectiles usually are better as I can uh, hit them up. I expected him to go for a throw reset and he punished that accordingly with the jump attack. And now my strong lead is all gone. But I'm still in this of course with Kagura's huge damage, but yeah my 5c gets stuffed by uh, JC. Jin's JC very godlike button. All in all, most of its buttons are pretty godlike. And not all that honest. So never let yourself get gaslighted that Jin is an honest character. He's just as bullshitty as everyone else. That 3C of the gods. 
which is a very good tool that he used against Wyvern, also one of the less uh, honest things. Un unfortunate or rather fortunate uh, drop for me at least, but he still gets me as I am not patient enough and stuffs out the Wyvern with a snowflake. But we are still in this of course and um, a pretty dominant showing but again you see him doing uh, some weird zona gameplay from Jin. Again I, I think he has the capabilities but I feel like Kagura is a better zona still in that sense. And no punishes on the uh, 5DA as well. And here I could have even gotten a punish if I had reg registered the clash early enough and went into another um, into another drive move there. So that's definitely damage that I missed out on. Yeah, and he was trying to go for a reset there, of some so of some sort. Fortunately, I blocked. Good anti air from him. With the Fubuki. Yeah, I didn't want to pre eat the pressure anymore, so I alpha countered. And there is so much damage left on the table because of the uh, Wyvern afterwards. If I had thrown out an orb afterwards, then I could have gotten 4k plus. So, definitely something that I need to um, practice a bit more to get those counter hit confirms when they really. When they come up because I could have already won this round but now I'm on live lead and we've only got five seconds left four seconds three but yeah JC just stuffing him out as he gets impatient which he has to do, be by the way because yeah I had the live lead but of course if he w just uh, air grabbed me there then I would have lost so but all in all good tool good awareness for myself Yeah, a nice Rechio there. Get me. And it looked like he would, uh, was attacking, but I think he was even Kara cancelling into a grab. So that ca caught me off guard. And it's definitely one of the things. I'm a little bit more on the passive side or defensive side at the very least in terms of gameplay. So um, I have to be really on point with those guard breaks because otherwise people can just throw and throw me over. So, of course, there are two ways to fix that. Either get better at, uh, breaking, at breaking throws or get better at offense on myself. And, of course, ideally both. So that's what we are trying to do. Unfortunate drop. That would have been 5k. Or at the very least... Uh, and a miss burst, another very bad confirm for myself because that could have been corner and 4k. But it just doesn't matter as I get more and more hits in. And AOP gets him there when he wants to jump out of the corner. So we are even on, on games now. Love to see it. I'm on somewhat of a veng vengeance arc against Jin's. Because of one specific player whose name should never be ne uh, never be mentioned. <laughs> so yeah, uh, getting any win against any Jin feels good. And personally, uh, if you have seen my uh, tier list, then um, yeah, I think win Jin wins this matchup a little bit. Okay, it's hard to do t say anything right now because it's quite tense. And he's doing such a good job in locking me down in the corner. And yeah, I didn't uh, expect him to land or do anything. I didn't expect him to do the uh, air special there that uh, guard crushes as far as I know. So yeah, I got hit by completely by surprise and he gets 4.8k damage out of it. Jin definitely also a high damage character. Also, of course, his average is not as high as Kagura's, but uh, yeah, his tools are a lot more reliable 
Again, Jin is carried. <laughs> Don't let yourself get gaslighted. He isn't honest at all. But of course, uh, Kagura is, ne is also not honest. No character in this game is honest, to be honest. Okay, yeah, that's what I said. It's oh, it's weird to see him uh, do the Zona gameplay. So, geez, if you're seeing this, don't try to zone out Kagura. I feel like it's not doing you any favors, at least in our gameplay. Maybe it would be if you're facing off some a more offensively oriented, oriented uh, Kagura, but yeah, against someone like me who's playing on the defensive side and is perfectly fine zoning himself, uh, it's not that useful. Of course, yeah, getting the throw still pretty good to break up people like me. Rapid cancer 6A. But yeah, CFAF takes me the round, of course. Somewhat uh, risky, but I still had meter to make it safe, so everything is fine. And I believe this uh, match was also on stream, so... If you want to see another perspective on that, so make sure to check that out. Yeah, I don't have much to say, like, he just deletes me right now and gets into this overdrive combo and I think this is dead because of double super and I couldn't uh, uh, burst out or anything because it was an overdrive very well played from G's definitely showing why he's one of the strongest Jin players of all time and next up we are against Mix a my player as if if you have been somewhat familiar with my content then you see that I've got a negative record against Mai so definitely something that I have to uh, look out for so yeah, both Hoon and Shi's K were defeating me pretty hard most of the time. And while I was often able to stand a fighting chance, that was about everything. And so yeah, mix another player who's more on a similar level to Cheese. Um, definitely showing some uh, yeah, <laughs> my gameplay here. But yeah, in this matchup, um, Mai definitely has a speed advantage and similar range normals, so that makes it already difficult for Kagura. And then she also can zone him out and do stuff like these with her dive kicks and stuff. So very difficult character to nail down. And also, as you see there, her spare thrust uh, beats or at least clashes with uh, Wyvern. So Wyvern is also way of a worse tool than in most matchups, unfortunately. And yeah, trying with the uh, 5C stagger pressure, but I jump, just jump over it after a few times. Like yeah, I should have mixed it up at some point to cover for the jump over. So yeah, I take the first round here. And A orb into a uh, Wyvern. More Wyvern action. We love to see it. That's the thing, if you're fighting any Kaga, you have to make him uh, stops wyverning because that move is pretty good but it got some glaring flaws but if you don't um, yeah make Kagura eat dirt for it then he's gonna just continue doing it the entire time nice combo into reset or maybe that was just Oki hard to tell I'm not too familiar with my again something I should change and yeah this is death Fairly convincing, two rounds in the first game secured by me. Another win for the Kagura Nation. And yeah, we are here, back again. Ah, yeah, that was such a bad c for myself. I think with the counter hit, uh, Mix could have gotten combo out of that. Probably. Yeah, understandable burst. Because being in the corner, eating 4k is not what you want. Again, 4k and uh, and Oki, so yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't expect this to hit, so I RC'd, but that was weird <laughs> that I see in the end. Yeah, and mine got two overheads. Um, and yeah, both can be Seafafnir, so definitely uh, make sure I should make sure to Seafafnir those on reaction, as I did here. Okay, Alpha Counter to get get her off of me. And yeah, I think I could have even gotten the kill with uh, 5DA there. But yeah, either way, I take the round. And yeah, they are definitely respecting me a bit too much because when I dash in after that 5DA, um, then they can just smash and punish me for it. Bad combo for myself, didn't matter that much. I get the uh, 6A Bifafne link, so that's always good. But I dropped the combo, unfortunately. And this could be a crucial drop, of course, because yeah, that would have been uh, game winning and set winning thus. And Mix is really doing a good job of making me regret that. Of course, there's not much you can do when you drop a combo, right? Like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean anything if you regret it the entire match over. You just have to take action and make sure you don't drop another combo and get that final hit in. And yeah, this could go down south a lot now. So as you see, uh, that combo drop definitely put a dent on my mantle, which isn't all that great, but it's difficult to control your mental state that's definitely something and yeah uh, zoning me out here and I get the rare uh, A op 6C confirm but it wasn't like on Oki so they were higher in the air so I had more time to get that actually And yeah, now that's that's the thing you want to see uh, with Kagura, that they burn their overdrive or the burst for nothing. And I ha did an accidental rapid cancel as I wanted to use Exit Axel to get Active Flow. But as you see, I now I've already got ex Active Flow here. <laughs> and funnily enough, Kadamos gets not punished by the Super there. Very lucky. And I advance. This is already loser, so if I now lose against George, fan favorite Ragnar player, then my tournament life is over. But at the very least, I've already taken two wins. And let's see how this goes. So for the most part, I think in most matches, I'm slightly, I have a slightly positive record against George, but it could actually go either way. What is very important for me in this matchup is because uh, Ragnar is a lot more agile and has great mid-screen buttons, or not mid-screen buttons, but uh, yeah, mid-range button, exactly. Um, because he got those, I need to make sure that he doesn't get on top of me, where it really gets difficult for me to contest because I have quick, fast, stubby buttons and slow, long-range buttons. So it's difficult to contest the Ragnar in the mid-range, and a good Ragnar will then uh, continue to abuse the mid-range. And of course, plus frames like this after a uh, death spike. Very unfortunate getting hit there by the death side after inputting 6C. Again, 6C is not really a good anti-air, not even that good preemptive as I did it there, because you can still get hit out of it, so it's more like uh, moves that you'd use if you think your opponent will jump when they are in block stun to catch them afterwards. And yeah, that's the first Gauntlet Hades I haven't blocked. There will probably a lot more. And that's one of the things that you have to nail when fighting uh, Ragnar as Kagura is to um, beef half near uh, Gauntlet Hades and Death Side just so that they can't use those moves uh, that much because Death Side gives them plus frames and of course Gauntlet Hades overhead into combo. Never, you never want to eat that pretty much. 
I mean, you can block it, of course, but if they've got rapid cancel, then you're already getting yourself uh, primed up for a mix-up. So always better to just preemptive, preemptively hit it. And it doesn't have to be b near in case of Gauntlet Haze, because it could also be a 5A into 6C on counter hit. And yes, uh, difficult, <laughs> very intense set right now, could go either way. Yeah, good alpha counter there to keep me in the corner. But yeah, uh, good overdrive through my drive, through, 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 I think uh, yeah, I wanted to try Naga there. Very well played from George, but of course I still got two games to... Uh, makes a comeback that was pretty close in the first game so uh, yeah if I didn't do that uh, crucial conf crucial drop then yeah of course the 60A was a little bit too risky there and got funnily enough uh, beaten out by Gauntlet Hades <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was a funny uh, drop you probably expect that like uh, um, 5DA, but earlier, and then he pressed the button right when Rahab came out. Ah, such a bad uh, drop. Like, I've got all the time in the world to confirm with uh, Sirish. So that could have cost me the game in the round, but it didn't. Luckily for me. But still, yeah, a lot more uh, trouble than it had to be. Even the background music is telling me I made a big, big mistake. <laughs> Black Onslaught is a very nice track. Okay, I could have probably gotten him there with an overhead, but doesn't matter as I get him anyway. And a bad combo into a bad combo. I mean, no, that was okay. Especially as I used the Lindworm to keep him out, keep him from bursting. So now it's even, 1-1. One, one. And yeah, nice clash on the Hydra, and I could have gotten some damage there with the Naga, unfortunate. And yeah, very nice beef of me from my side. So it's definitely looking very good for me right now. Yeah, that's also a good use of Hail's Fang. If you have RC just to get close. And yeah, he yeah, <laughs> he didn't burst and he got resetted. Like I dropped the combo, American reset, classic. But I think if I hadn't dropped that would have been a kill anyway, so yeah. Not too too bad for him in the end. Very strong start in this round. So yeah, he knows this, this tournament life is on the line here, as do I. Okay, yeah, bad Seafafni from me. Let's see if, how good his confirm for this situation is. Okay, yeah. Doesn't get, quite get the kill. He could have gotten the kill probably, but dropped the combo. Doesn't matter as he lands the death size. And now we are back again. Similar situation to G's. Final round, fi final game, final round. Quite intense set so far. And the Gauntlet Hades gets me in overdrive nonetheless. So yeah, that's definitely some, some big damage and also lots of... Uh, health gain from George, plus um, his burst is almost back again. But yeah, he definitely noticed that I wasn't on point on punishing uh, Gauntlet Hades and, uh, <laughs> and Death side, so he's trying to do stuff like that. 
and that was a nice cute attempt at, uh, at getting the cross up uh, inferno divider but yeah in the end uh, fails fangs get sims around and that was my tournament run of blaze blue eu open regrown 24 make sure to also enter the next one and maybe enter the weeklies as well every saturday also make sure to check out the hard edges of many more weeklies for different games and of course also blaze blue also including a beginner pen if you don't feel that confident in yourself definitely try that out thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye